Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to my Factorio Let's Play. Now, we're getting a little low on power. It doesn't look like it right now, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I turn on some science, like, I don't know, magazine-based increases of damage, and the science, whoop, the science will start being used, this number starts to creak up uh, quite quickly. So it doesn't take much to put in a couple of boilers and do all that kind of uh, fun stuff. So I think we're just going to crack on and do that before we get into the meat of the episode. I've also uh, been working on a little bit of the production, just sort of throwing down a few more mines and doing all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, that will keep everything ticking along nicely. Um, did I get that in about... The, I think I got it in about the right place. I don't quite understand pole placement. It doesn't sort of sit in between. It sort of sits... I don't know. Maybe it does sit in between and I'm just putting it in the wrong place. There we go. That will do the trick. And we'll put a light down as well. Because I'm generous. So you guys need some power poles. And one just there will do the trick just nicely. Great. So we'll have a look at the old demand now. Oh, that'll be fine, I think. I think once the factories run as well, things get a little bit more hinky. But uh, for now, everything else is working beautifully. Added a bit more coal production. I have uh, sort of sorted out a second line for, for steel, not for steel, for iron. And I picked up all of the old production that we had up around the middle of the map. So I've got some labs to lay down. This isn't exactly, exactly needed yet, but I, I like to have it. Um, I like to have these lines fleshed out. I think it helps keep everything balanced or something or other. I've also just up here, I've laid a bit of stone and put in a machine to make landfill because we actually do want to fill in these little gaps and gaps and holes. So we might as well just do that now and leave that thing just cracking away. Goodbye, tiny ponds. You are very annoying. And yes, that will allow us to expand the steel line very easily. What should we research next? Combinators, don't quite need them yet. Um, engines, eh, fuel, oil and stuff. Yes, we'll do the oil and stuff. Well, that'll be a good idea. Oil processing and down we go. So everything is working very well. And I'm quite pleased with the general layout. I think we've given ourselves enough space and room and all of that stuff to make this a very workable experience for us all, which is what we really care about, making it all fit because if it doesn't fit, your life gets just very annoying trying to reshape everything. So I just need to give all of these a bit of the old power and the old inserters. And things will then go very fine, I suspect. Even faster science production will take place. Um, I, yeah, I just love how scalable this whole design is. I mean, you don't have to reroute anything. You just throw down a few more labs and everyone is happy. Um, put the turret back bit of ammunition and that's good to go I actually think possibly the next thing to work on is military science because that gives us uh, a military science or the mall mm, maybe military science so if you don't know what the mall is that's basically a space to have everything made for us belts um, all that other junk and I might just go for military science because it gets it out of the way of the um, well, I mean, it just keeps it in a nice space. It'll keep it free from the rest of the uh, sort of stuff that's going to come after it. So military science can just go plugged straight in here. And I think that's probably not a silly idea. So I think we'll just crack on and do military science. And then we'll get on and do them all at another time. So military science is, it can be a little bit fiddly to lay out. I think because you need a few things so some of that is made easier because we've got gears but we need piercing rounds so that requires iron and then that goes then this requires steel and copper to make the piercing rounds grenades just require plate and coal so we could run a plate and coal line down and just have both these feed off it steel and copper is a bit annoying we have copper and steel and gears required for the gun turrets. So yeah, this can be a bit of a fiddle, but I'm gonna start speaking something out. I'll have a little think and show you what I come up with. Well, what I've come up with so far is I'm gonna lay out uh, 10 factories because 
that produces, or that'll mean we produce basically one a second, which is half what we're producing on the red and green, but black military science, we won't be using that much. My plan is to bring in uh, grenades and ammunition along here and to bring in turrets along here and to output up to here. So we're going to be using the good old, uh, you know, the old red inserters like this to, to pop stuff out. And then we're going to, what am I saying? Yeah, to pop stuff out because they can be fairly slow. We use the faster inserters to bring stuff in. And then once the science has uh, reached this spot, it'll basically be, in fact, I might just dovetail it in right now. It'll just be brought in like so straight into uh, the belt and like that and zappo things will work well and I should just dump off these while we're here. So cool we're currently researching electrical energy distribution which will help powering this because fitting enough power poles in will be a pain. Um, and what we need to do is we're going to actually need to come up with some kind of little actually it doesn't have to be quite so extreme. Some little loop thing from down here is quite a, a popular way to build these. And then somewhere over here, I'm going to throw in a whole bunch of uh, grenade production. Grenades, uh, grenades are very simple to put in or put together. And if I had enough gears and stuff, I'd be able to do that for you. So I think we will crack on and uh, throw that stuff in. Uh, should be pretty straightforward machinery, I suspect. But... Uh, that'll be, we'll figure it out. It's always a little bit of a surprise, even if you've done it before. Always this bit of a surprise I find figuring out, you know, just the structure you want to use for things and where things are precisely going to go. You can use blueprints for it. I think I've even got one. But I think there's value in seeing someone else like me uh, actually make that for you guys. Because if you're watching this, maybe you haven't done this before and you kind of want to learn, I'm hoping perhaps, how to think like a factorial engineer. And uh, that is not that hard. It's not like we're all, you know, people are geniuses. Although there are people who have built Space Invaders and Pac-Man and Factorio. That is a whole different killer fish. But for the rest of us, um, yeah. It's just a matter of sort of sitting there and having a think about it. What does a recipe require? One, only one grenade every 10 seconds. There's 10 of them. So we need 10 a second. Grenades take like 8 seconds to make? Really? Do they really take eight seconds to make. That's quite a lot. It's actually a lot more than I thought. So we are actually going to need a fair few of those factories to keep up. Okay, electrical energy distribution is done. Uh, some bullet damage or something, substations. We need police science for those. So we will just go for bullet damage and stuff like that. And uh, yes, we shall definitely be putting in like eight right we need eight of these to be doing one a second can we fit them all along there i think we can although i'd prefer not to six seven eight give us a bit of space for the uh, ammunition manufacturing which is ideal we want space uh so i think that's probably a perfectly good ratio something like that um do we bring in all the pl all the coal and stuff to the other factory as well i'm not sure what i do know is that uh turret factory will probably be here ish and it requires plates we're going to plate on this belt then we bring in copper and gears along like here won't precisely be there but it's close enough and then ammunition requires just plate and then it requires steel and copper um so we're going to do some kind of direct insertion type thing, so to speak. Uh, so we want the, the factory to be, well, that's our limit because we're being, we're lining things up neatly because that's how we play, right? None of us messing around. So we're going to have uh, one go this way. I clearly need some more of uh, these guys. Can't wait to get those set up automated. So we need one of those going that way, one of those going that way. And then we need um, stuff coming off here. And this is going to be the ammunition. So this part will be easy. So I might just lay the belt in. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta put the belt in to see what's gonna happen. And then it'll make the other decisions more obvious. That's perhaps the lesson I've been learning from watching people play and playing myself more. 
is it's just best to have a go. Keep your principles in mind, spacing and all this kind of stuff. Oh, not messing up your belt. And then see what works. Some things, some things are obvious and some things are less so. So let's get this in. No, what am I doing? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Where is it all gone? Did it actually go through? Did I catch it in time? I think I caught it in time. So I actually need the coal power to come down. And I'm going to put some lights down as well. Because I get tired of the dark and scared. Just a teensy bit. Uh, right, coal. We need coal. Okay, bullet damage is done. What would be next helpful thing? Um, shooting speed. That's a, always a good one. So I think we will roll the coal, uh, so to speak, down here. And uh, we will put one side like that. Yep, that's going to come through there. And then we will put... And we'll figure out jumping these other tracks over soon. But for now... Actually, it needs to be a bit further down, doesn't it, to make this work? Uh, so we're going to come in uh, like over here. Like this, but from like here and it's going to be like bam bam and then this one is going to go bam bam think like that just watching carefully yeah that should actually work out perfectly it'll load to the right yep it's going to load out to the right side this one is going to come under oh and then these belts will do that okay likewise these belts here i'll bring them down because i do need gears get to there and I'll need steel so I might as well bring those down too and uh, these this one here is going to go over don't be afraid of jumping into the middle of your belt like that I think it's uh yeah that looks perfectly tidy and fine and those are kind of ready to go so I'm just gonna put power to them like that that's very nice and neat. Uh, what this needs, though, is a bit of extra stuff, doesn't it? So we're going to figure out that. Oh, of course, it needs to be a blue factory. Here we go. Just plop it straight on top. So what you need is the copper and the steel, which is also what at least it partly needs. So I'm tempted to run just copper and steel straight into... Um, kind of into this this vicinity here and I think that'll work just fine meanwhile I could just keep laying out the power along here so we'll do this and what I actually should do really is use these new medium electric power poles because they're just a little bit easier to handle so that's going to be fine uh, and uh, I think I'm just going to figure this part out be right back with you in a second well, I think I've got this part figured out at least. I'm just going to shove this uh, factory in one to give us a bit of space. And that's actually perfectly fine for a bunch of reasons. It'll become clear once you see uh, how the belt will be loaded. That's perfectly acceptable. Which means I need to bring copper and steel in over here. So my initial thought is to do something like that. Which means breaking the copper about here. And again, I can just sideload this copper, which I think will do um, just very a very fine job. Actually, I can't sideload the copper because I don't have enough room, but I can sort of sideload it here. So that copper will go there. We don't have any big demands on copper. I don't mind a little bit wasted. So there's copper and steel flowing, flowing, flowing. Uh, light bulbs are clearly required in our factory or we will go like blind. I've used the large power poles all the way along here and they are happily chucking out grenades, lots of grenades. And you should go that way round. And then what we will do is, so they're on the left, which means they're coming chunking down here. What we want to, let me just sort of line them up, that's like that. We want to get uh, a lot of belt on this and I think what we will do actually is maybe we'll just go like this and this one here will output I'm trying I just got to try and do the old remembering thing of where this is going to end up when I 
and I put something on it. Um, get rid of that, and we'll put. Likewise, we'll put these. We'll line these up this way around. Cool. So, wh where do you end up, Mr. Belt, when you do that? On that side. Oh, yeah, that'll work out perfectly. No, it's not quite. No, <laughs> no, it won't. You're a very silly person, Mr. Tiny Pirate. Okay, let's let's try again. Pick up some grenades. I don't mind if I do. Um, you, you guys. Uh, I, ah, I needed them all over there too because the factories are here. Uh, okay, so bear with me for a second while I consider this logistical puzzle, this very simple logistical puzzle. There, there we go. That'll do the trick. Uh, uh, so much for clever Factorio player, huh? Okay, there we go. How fast are you producing these? Every three seconds? I could arguably do with more and you guys are producing these every one second and it takes uh, how many in the recipe one eh. I feel like there's some optimization I could do here maybe I could like yeah maybe I could put two in I mean this is why we give ourselves space right and we'll see if that would work I don't know I feel a bit dirty doing this, like uh, just messing up my design. I might, I might rebuild this in a second. Actually, I might rebuild that in a second. It's kind of bugging me that I haven't got the ratios as nice as I would like. Meanwhile, this guy needs come to me, little factory. If you're going to be making turrets, uh, you need copper, plate, and gears, wasn't it? Which, um. Uh, you know what? We could make your whole life a lot e easier by just getting you closer to all of this stuff. We could just lay in some underground belt, for example. Oh, no, no, actually this one, what am I doing? This one needs it. So, and this one will as well. So I think, well, what I'm going to do, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to jiggle these around a little bit. I'm going to jiggle them around, have a little ponder quietly to myself while I continue to research... Gun turret damage, why not? So I have a little ponder, and then you can come and check out what I've done. Okay, I've got this bit figured out. So now we've got, um, yeah, two factories producing, and I've, I think that's honestly, it's gonna be fine. Uh, that is more than enough for what is required. But I just wanted to not kind of waste the ratios, if that makes any kind of sense. I'm not really sure it does, but it, it does make some kind of sense to me. Over here, we need uh, sort of copper and steel to come down for these, or copper and plate and gears. So I'm, I'm just tempted to bring in a whole new copper and gears line. Uh, and that does seem to be pretty sensible. And then we'll have these uh, factories. I might pop them back a little bit. They can just go here and pluck uh, straight off the um, metal line. Now, how long does it take to make one of those? Eight seconds, one a second is eight of them. So, I mean, that's that's quite a few, but it's not it's not the end of the world. I think we can, we can sustain that. So we'll get that line sorted out and it's gonna go something like this. Uh, get the old uh, plate off here. Uh, we'll chuck uh, copper and gears on here and then we'll output to a belt that runs along here and then comes up, uh, yeah, goes up sort of this way uh, and into the production here. So that should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a very straightforward build. I think it's much easier than trying to share all that belt is just to give it the, give it the stuff it needs on its own belt and then uh, everything will be uh, much happier. Everyone will, everyone will enjoy themselves wonderfully uh, I especially will so yeah big power poles very helpful just fill all those gaps and then we'll just tell them this so that I can no wrong one did the wrong click okay like that like that like that, that. and uh, so yes we need copper and gears down here that's gonna be pretty easy Okay, so I have started to use a little bit of red belt, just handcrafted it, just to make some of this um, lining up a little easier. Um, do I want to sideload? Uh, maybe I maybe I do just want to do it the 
like the really straightforward way like that and we'll just put the output of this belt here and just go like that and why not not quite as tidy as I had it but that, that's okay I could line it up later I suppose but gear and copper will come in here these are going to make everything we want and unless I've forgotten something no that should be fine and then we'll need the red belt to I do uh, then we'll need the, the red loaders to output the turrets and we'll be great. And one of the nice things about this is I'm going to be able to set up a spot to pick uh, turrets and what have you off the belt for my for my own consumption, which will be um, very much appreciated because I tend to use quite a lot of both uh, turrets, grenades and ammunition. So we don't have to build that anywhere else. We can just leave it right here. And those are all working fine. Just need the red, the long-handed inserters to go outwards. Okay, cool. Turrets are going out. Turrets coming out. Grenades and things are in. It's just a matter of powering these bad boys and giving them a few more inserter hands. And we will have black science, military science up and running. So what do you guys need? You guys need two like that. Yeah, all the way along where there is no belt yet. And then on the input, we need some up here as well. And that should... Oh, a little bit more. No, I'm totally out of materials. What do I need? I need inserters. That's because I need some of these, right? Come here. Oh, and I could also pick some up from here, I suppose. And there we go. Bunches of inserters. Almost done. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay, so military science is now actually being spat out. Let's look at it. It's trucking along here, going into the machines. And what could I research with a bit of military science from the get-go just to, to stretch our legs? Oh, there we go. Increase grenade damage. That sounds like a great idea. So in comes the military science. Come on, military. You can do it. And then get shuffled all the way along and start the research process. It's coming through. It's coming through. Here it comes. Yes. Handed all the way down the line. I just think that's quite adorable. So the labs are picking it up. And we're underway. A bit of a slow build up when you've got this handover system, but I don't know. It works for me. Yeah, we're going to need a whole bunch before this line gets filled and then they'll start chucking it down here. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> That's cool. A unique game of pass a parcel. Great. Military science. Done. I feel really pleased. The next job is to build them all. And to pull that off, I'm probably... I might pick up some of this delicious ammunition as well. How much have we got? A bit more is required for sure. So yes, we're going to pick up some of this ammunition and grenades. Very helpful. And I then, then I think we're going to build the mall, which is a job that I will probably save for the next video. That feels like a, a good way of doing it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've been Tiny Pirate. This has been Factorio, one of my favorite games of all time. I hope it's yours too. And if it isn't already, go and, and buy it because it's just great. Good night.